Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. Okay, that's fine. Uh, hey, I'm Dr. Joe Gilgore, president of Mineral Area College, and uh, this is one of my favorite events of the year, getting to be on stage and uh, see all of you. Uh, obviously, this is huge, a lot of people out there. Uh, it's about 15 years ago or so, I was driving to work at another community college in Missouri, and I heard on the radio about a student in Maryland, I think, that had accomplished their associate's degree and their high school diploma on the same day. And it was national news. And I thought, well, that's pretty cool. Sounds hard, probably impossible, but you know, whatever. And then years have gone by, and now nearly every school has students that are completing their associate's degree and their high school diploma at the same time. Uh, now, we get to do this a lot. We go around to a lot of graduations, and recognize students who are graduating from Mac and their school district at the same time. But none of them are as big as Farmington. None of them have as many students doing this as this school. So uh, this is kind of extra special to do it here. Yeah. So I don't know how many of you know the requirements to get an associate's degree. It's 64 college credit hours each class is about a three-hour course, so you can do the math how many classes that would be. Uh, the national average of how long it takes a person who's not in high school to get their associate's degree is over three years. And those are people who are not in band and sports and working a part-time job and going to high school and dealing with all the other fun things that teenagers do in high school. But these students have accomplished this, and it's really, really special. So I'm going to read your names. I'm going to butcher most of them. Just a head up, heads up on that. Uh, please stand as I say your name. And audience, please save your applause until the end. Chloe Allen. Braden Arms. Nora Burkbigler. Carliana Bloom. Remain standing, if you could, please. Thanks. Emma Burgess. Carissa Casamatis, Reagan Klein, Ashley Cohen, Ashlyn Courtney, Emma Cummings, Annabelle Devoto, Trent Jauchinski. You get it? All right, thanks. All right. <laughs> Tessa Hand, Jacob Eberly, Clarissa Eberly, Susan Helton. Ryan Johnson, Cameron Kemper, Taylor Matheson, Aiden Moriarty, Riley Nessler, Yip Fan, Carolyn Reeves, Chloe Scoggins, Olivia Sherrill, Anna Sykes, Madison Sense, Alyssa Stacy, Bob Sue. Abby Thurman, 
Mackenzie White, Abby Wigger, Michaela Wood, and Sawyer Mohan. Let's give them a round of applause. Congratulations, college graduates. On behalf of the faculty, staff, administration, and Mineral Area College Board of Trees, Board of Trustees, we congratulate you, welcome you to the Mac family and the alumni category. And uh, as far as the rest of you, you will see you on campus in the fall. as a leader at Farmington High School, I have thoroughly studied each and every one of my classmates. I've seen many highs and many lows, many good things and many bad things, and most importantly, I've witnessed their best and worst days. Despite the difference in each of our lives, there is one thing that almost every teen I know has tried to achieve, and that is the title of Top Dog. I know, I know, this all sounds pretty silly, but we have all wanted to fill the role as either the prettiest, funniest, smartest, or some other characteristic in our time here at FHS. My point is that even though we all feel the need to be on top, we cannot all make it to the top. And that is okay. During life, it is okay to win, it is okay to lose, and it is okay to be average. Therefore, our challenge to the class of 2024 is to embrace the fact that it is okay to be human during your senior year of high school. It's okay to not be at the top of your class. It's okay to be average and it is okay to fail. It is okay to prioritize your dreams even if they seem impossible to achieve. It is okay to dress how you like even if no one else dresses that way. And above all, it is okay to prioritize fun during your senior year. In life, it is so easy to get caught up in all the highs and lows that one forgets the true meaning of life, to be happy. So, class of 2024, please embrace the fact that it is okay to choose happiness over validation during your senior year of high school. Thank you all and have a wonderful afternoon. Thank you, Taylor. We accept your challenge, and as the class of 2024, we will strive day to day to fill your task in which you have provided us with. Throughout our senior year as a class, we will prioritize positivity and enjoy our last moments in high school. Life will give us each different situations, but we will focus on living in the moment and not relying on what others may think of us. The class of 2024 will embrace this challenge by going above and beyond your expectations. We will intentionally pursue our dreams and embrace that it is okay to choose happiness over reputation. The class of 2024 would also like to congratulate the class of 2023 and wish you good luck in your future endeavors. Now please help me welcome to the stage the Farmington High School a cappella choir under the direction of Mrs. Claire Nays.
It is my pleasure to introduce our guest speaker today. Each year, students vote on who will speak at their graduation, and I'm ever thankful for that because it used to be the high school principal, and that saves you from a decade of listening to my speeches. This year, um, the students have chosen Mr. Robert Upchurch as their graduation speaker, and he's always one of their common choices. He has worked for FHS since 2010 and is well-liked by his students and his peers. He has a positive energy about him that makes his students remember him long after they leave the halls of FHS. I have no doubt that he will entertain you with his words of wisdom today and that his speech will be one that you will never forget. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Robert Upchurch. You know, I really wish that one of these times they would just say, uh, hey, they chose Mr. Upchurch, and I'm sorry. Um, that way the expectation would just be so much lower, and then if it actually ends up being good, then you're surprised, okay? Um, so there were some of you who got to see an inspirational speaker this year uh, who apparently started his speech by comparing himself uh, to a former Sexiest Man Alive candidate. Um, and so. I talked to TJ and said, hey, maybe I should just get up and say, just so you know, I'm not Tom Holland. Um, but then I realized that if you weren't in my room at the time, then maybe that, that joke wouldn't be funny. So I tested the bit on my wife, who said, don't say that. You're going to sound incredibly arrogant. Because, well, she didn't say this, but her eyes said the next part, like, you don't look anything like Tom Holland. And then, like, a little part of me died. And so I decided, we're just going gonna to skip that part and just go to, hey. Welcome to graduation 2023. Thank you guys so much for asking me to come and speak today. It's such an honor because I love this class. This class has been an absolute blast. Um, and so just getting a chance to get up here, if for no other reason, just to say thank you um, is 100% worth it to me. Some of you literally have found a way into my class for four straight years um, and even made a, a fake honor cord that is the Upchurch Honor Chord to acknowledge that this has happened. And you even gave me one. So uh, it's Christmas colors too, which is, which is beautiful. Um, so thank you guys for that. It's 100% true when we say you're going to be missed. Like, truthfully, like, without Happy Lugo, I'm not sure who's going to organize my classroom anymore. Um, and so it, it's going to be noticeable. It'll be noticeable. So um, as I thought about what to say to you guys, a few, a few things came to my mind. First, and I have no like seamless transition for this, but as a um, dad of a small tribe of upchurches, like I realize how big of a deal this is for you guys um, and not just you guys. And so before we say anything else, um, I want you guys to take a second, just acknowledge the people who came to support you guys today. Look at them, give them a round of applause because this is a lot to them too. So then as I thought about things that I could actually say to you, a lot of things bounced around in my head, um, but I, I landed on three. Okay, so here's, here's my gist for us today, and if you fall asleep at some point and don't remember anything else, here's what you're going to miss. Okay, here's, here's my three points. One, laugh because there's so much joy to be found. Two, care because people and pursuits matter. And three, persevere because you're loved. Okay, let's, let's break that down. Number one, laugh, because there really is so much joy to be found. Honestly, when I think back over this class and things that we've done together, uh, laughter is kind of what I remember. Like, I'm assuming there was some education that happened in my room as well. Um, I don't remember it. I doubt you guys remember that, but we laughed a lot. And I know that when you look back at your time in this high school, there's going to be a lot of things that you remember. But I, I just encourage you, please, don't forget that part. Like, don't forget that we all got to laugh together so often. And if you need to laugh a little bit more, did anybody else see Abby get hit by the flag? <laughs> right? I also hit her one time with a peppermint in my class, and so I just felt like it was all coming full circle for her. So are you okay? She's fine. She's good, okay? Um, but I, I hope that you remember this, and I hope that it continues for you. Because, guys, honestly, life is just so short. It's too short not to absolutely love it. But here's the problem. Most of us are just incredibly whiny, okay? And this isn't like just a, like a teenager thing either, right? I, I talk to a lot of people in a lot of different places all the time, and this is a nearly universal condition. It is so much easier to complain about all the bad stuff 
than to even remember any of the good things that happen in our lives. But if that's all we've got, if that's what life is, just like one moan after another until we die, that's such a sad existence, right? And that's not what we were meant for, right? The Apostle John said that Jesus came that we might have life and have it abundantly. Abundantly means a life that is rich and beautiful and fulfilled. And that's what we're made for. And that's what we, is available to us. But we've got to be so intentional about what we then feed our hearts, right? We can feed it all the garbage and then complain all the time and be whiny, or we can feed it something else, right? The Apostle Paul was writing to a church like 2,000 years ago, and he said this, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable, if there is any excellence, is there anything worthy of praise? Think about these things. You've got a choice. We can dwell on the things that we cannot change and be miserable, or we can focus on feeding our heart beautiful and unshakable truth and learn to laugh, right? Learn to laugh even when things are falling apart. Because if you smile now, then when heartache comes, which it will, right? You're going to encounter hard things in your life. But if you have learned to smile, then you will remember that sorrow and heartbreak don't have to define you. So laugh, because always there's going to be so much joy to be found. And then care, because people and pursuits matter. Remember this, the opposite of love is not hate or anger. Not that those are like particularly good things either, but the opposite of love is apathy, right? And apathy, just not caring, is as rampant in this world today as it is absolutely destructive. All that it leads to is more and more like self-indulgent sorrow. And you will be surrounded by it, like, like 100%. I don't know if you guys have noticed it, but even while you were in high school, did everybody care all the time? The answer is no, okay? Absolutely no. And you will be surrounded by more and more apathy, but does that have to be who you are? Does that have to consume you? It doesn't, right? So here, here's my challenge. First of all, take time to actually care enough to see people. Okay, this, this might be hitting uh, home a lot like in this moment, but so much in life is fleeting, right? You won't be in this particular place with these particular people forever. Right? And I know the world pushes not missing out on opportunities, and there's so much truth to that, right? Like you want to keep your eyes wide open for the doors that God is presenting to you. Do that. But as you walk through those doors, don't miss the people, right? Nobody comes into your path on accident. These are real people with real dreams and real struggles and real concerns, and you have an opportunity to be a positive part of that journey. Look for chances to do that, right? Pray that you have eyes of compassion because eyes of compassion see the world differently. And while you're doing that, also care enough to do stuff that actually matters, right? I know it's a super cliche, but the decisions that you are making right now are literally setting you up for the person that you are going to be for the rest of your life. And so many people look back on their lives with regrets because they just feel like they wasted so much time, right? And it's easy to do because life moves super duper fast and you could get to a point and look back and realize all those awesome things that you wanted to do did not happen. You just binge watched a lot of TV shows and flipped through TikToks, okay? All of which added absolutely nothing to your quality of life. But the thing is, you are all given 24 hours every single day and you get to choose what you're gonna do with that time. So I encourage you to pursue something that's bigger than yourself. Right? You can live for yourself, but you will let yourself down. So pursue excellence. Don't become a slave to vanity. You know, Jesus said that he even came not to be served, but to serve. And I would say that he lived pretty wisely, right? So we would do well to do likewise. So what I'm going to say now, I've literally said at every single graduation that, that I've spoken at, but I, I can't help it because I feel like it just needs to be said, okay? Don't wait to start pursuing things that matter, okay? There's like this adage that you shouldn't actually think about meaningful things until you've like gotten out of your early 20s and you've like sown your wild oats. Some of you know how I feel about oats. I love them. They are delicious, okay? Eat oats. Develop character, okay? Do something that actually, yeah, I know, it was good. You like that one, all right? It is a good one, okay? That's, I, that's why it keeps on coming back, all right? So we need to do something that actually matters because life is going to move so fast, right? Don't be afraid to make mistakes. Like, you will. It's a process. But in that process, love the truth enough to chase it and love the truth enough to leave stuff that is comfortable and easy to do what is right. So laugh because there's so much joy to be found. 
care because people and pursuits matter, and persevere because you're loved. A lot of you are surrounded by evidences of that love right now. I mean, if you check it out, these people 100% did not come here to hear me, okay? I know they did not. They came here for you. Cherish those moments. Some of you, though, and I want to acknowledge this, um, aren't feeling that in this moment, right? Because moments like this are wonderful and they're great, especially when you're surrounded by the people that you love. But for some of you, you are not surrounded by those people because you've lost somebody and all that this moment is doing for you is reminding you of the gaping holes that are not here right now. And I know as a family, a Farmington family, we feel that, right? Uh, we have lost two of the most dynamic women that I've ever met in my life, uh, two of the best friends that so many of us have, Miss Mays Nielsen and Miss Cook. They are not here with us right now. And feeling those holes hurts. And when you're not surrounded by the people that you love, it does hurt. And that feeling doesn't just go away. It feels like emptiness and isolation are all that you are ever going to have. But it doesn't have to be like that. So if you don't hear anything else that I say, please hear this. You are loved. Your life and your steps have purpose and they have meaning. And even if you do not see it, somebody in this room cares about you. Somebody in this room loves you. And I'm going to say this, and it's maybe not the most popular take, but you voted for me. All right? So this is on you. Um, I 100% believe that Jesus Christ loves you unconditionally, and that makes all the difference. So laugh. Okay. So laugh because there's so much joy to be found. Care because people and pursuits matter. And persevere because you're loved. Now, I'm going to try and demonstrate that love for you a little bit because uh, several years ago I made a really stupid decision. And um, I sang at graduation. And it felt great in the moment, because I'm like, they're never going to vote for me again. Um, and then this expectation was set that I'm just supposed to keep doing that. And so I will do that, because I care about you guys. Um, some of you have heard the song already, so I am expecting uh, you to sing with me. That way, you know, in fact, if the a cappella choir would like to come up and... Uh, no, okay, um, maybe not. Um, I did think about singing Christmas Shoes. Um, that way we could just keep with the emotional moment here, um, but, but I did something else instead. Uh, you cheered, but you have not heard the song yet, so like, again, expectations need to be low. All right, I love you guys. Otherwise, this is stupid. Get my wings out of the way. I almost played the last graduation song. Let's go back to this one. Here we go. Live 
every day like it's Christmas Eve. Make sure you know what you believe. And learn how to laugh even when you fail. Oatmeal for breakfast is never stale. Don't put paper towels on a toilet seat. Yeah, that's one I should probably repeat. Oh, it's what I had to say on your graduation day. Yeah. Each moment that God gives you, hold on to what He says is true. Yeah, that's all I had to say on your graduation day. Whoa. This song, cause you asked me to, but I hope that at least a few of these words got stuck in your head. Have a great life, make wise decisions, and Merry Christmas. And of course, I get to be the unlucky person who gets to follow Mr. Upchurch. Um, today is my privilege to announce this year's Night of the Year. Night of the Year is a long-standing tradition that allows Farmington High School faculty to nominate and then vote to select the student they think best exemplifies all the qualities of what it means to be a knight. Night of the Year is always a student that stands out to faculty members in a number of areas. There are students who sell in academics, activities, and overall character. Those chosen often represent the best qualities that Farmington High School strives to instill in its students, excellence, integrity, and purpose. Our winners each year represent their peers at FHS in many positive ways. Once the student is chosen, we ask teachers for comments or interesting stories about the student to personalize this presentation. Teachers this year had a lot of things to say, but I'll try to get through quickly. Our first teacher noted that our night of the year is always polite and respectful, always shares in advance if they can't make it to a class, which is more and more rare, always on task and productive, and asks some of the most thought-provoking questions. This included often asking questions the teacher didn't know the answer to, not to be annoying, but because they really wanted to know the answer. This kept the teacher on her toes as she would always prepare lessons thinking about what the night of the year might ask just to be prepared in advance. A second teacher noted that our winner is an incredibly caring, tenacious, and overall wonderful young man. They were grateful for the opportunity to have him in middle school, to see him grow into the standout leader they believed that he was born to be. He always had his teacher and classmates laughing, sharing stories of weekend adventures, camping trips of Boy Scouts, or quizzing classmates with random trivia cards he found in her room. They also noted that he initially worried about coming to FHS from a local private school, but they knew he would fit in and do great things. They noted he always treated his classmates like family and has repeatedly proven he will defend and fight for them knowing he can make a change for the greater good. 
Another educator noted that during his time at private school, he asked if they could add a new shirt to their dress code. He was told he had to present to the school board for approval, so that's exactly what he did. He showed up having done his research, found a cost for the shirt, and a vendor to purchase it from, and the students at that local school still wear those shirts today. They also noted that when his eighth grade class had money left over from a field trip, the night of the year led a fundraiser to gather 400 more dollars to fund a bench in their playground area for their students. And then just this past summer, he went back to add additional components and do landscaping to that same area. They noted that he takes pride in the schools he attends and is a leader without a doubt. Another teacher noted that our winner is wise beyond his years with a heart for public service. He goes above and beyond in the classroom, but more importantly, when he sees something that needs to be done, he never waits for someone else to do it. As a member of our BKTV news program, he came up with a Stuff That Matters segment and developed nonpartisan stories about current trends in the news that he felt our students needed to know about. While working with this teacher, our night of the year saw a copy of the Farmington School District's strategic plan, and noting that it was rather plain, came up with the name, the Farmington Four, as the name of the guiding focus of the district and develop the graphics and we still use those things throughout the district today. Other teachers noted that our night of the year made a lasting impression on both them and his peers. As a student that leads by example both in student council and nights in action to leave a lasting legacy here on FHS. That legacy includes spreading kindness, standing up for those who could not do so for themselves and making everyone feel like they belong which makes him a light in what can seem like a world of darkness. And on a past blitz day, he rented a dunk tank for the festivities for students and brought it to the school in his own truck. Our night of the year was also all conference and scholar bowl, qualified for nationals in FBLA, and our FBLA sponsor noted that he was an asset to their program, and all she ever had to say was, we should, and he would get whatever that thing was done. He received an Outstanding Service Award for FBLA and was also given a proclamation from Jefferson City for his service. Several teachers noted that he's just a great person overall and always dependable and caring. One noted that from his first day of school to his last at FHS, he was always respectful, kind, and genuine. Known as Tej in his classroom, that teacher noted his face will be carved on his own personal Mount Rushmore and his name was the only one signed on the only cease and desist letter the teacher ever got. Today's graduation speaker, Mr. Upchurch, who I had to follow, noted that one of the coolest things our night of the year ever did was take over his class when they were analyzing composition papers when Mr. Upchurch was absent and led the entire class. And Mr. Upchurch said he was pretty sure the students liked him better. Mr. Upchurch also said that it's fairly sure that our night of the year will one day be president of the United States and Mr. Upchurch already volunteered to be his running mate. <laughs> so with that, it's my pleasure to present to you our 2023 Farmington Night of the Year, Mr. T.J. Benoist. At this time, I would like to discuss um, a first ever history in Farmington High School. We actually have one student that is going to graduate with his associate's degree from Missouri Baptist University. And here to talk about that journey today is Kim Cochran. And if Ty Northern would begin to weigh his, make his way to the stage. Good afternoon. It's an honor to be here today to celebrate the Farmington High School graduates as a representative of Missouri Baptist University. MBU is an evangelical Christian liberal arts institution and we offer programs of study leading to professional certificates, undergraduate degrees, and graduate degrees. We're committed to enriching the lives of students spiritually, intellectually, and professionally 
and to preparing students to serve in a global and culturally diverse society. Our core purpose is to teach, empower, and inspire students for service and lifelong learning. Although our main campus is located in St. Louis, we have long been partners with the Farmington School District in offering dual credit courses to the high school students. This year alone, seven seniors from Farmington earned our recognition certificate for earning 12 hours of college credit or more from MBU before graduating from high school. What an accomplishment. In addition, there is a student here at Farmington High School who earned an associate's degree from MBU. So not only is Ty Northern graduating from high school today, he is also being recognized for graduating from Missouri Baptist University with his Associate of Arts in General Studies degree. Congratulations, Ty. Right. The Latin honor system is a traditional and ancient honor system used at colleges and universities throughout Europe and the United States. Increasingly, high schools are switching from class rank and having a valid valedictorian, salutatorian, or top ten to Latin honor system. The Latin honor system has three distinct ranks. Summa cum laude, the highest honor, magna cum laude, the second highest honor, and cum laude, the third highest honor. Criteria at Farmington High School for achieving recognition through the Latin Honor System is based on cumulative GPA, community service, a 30 hour, 30 hour minimum work internship, and attending one Board of Education meeting. For summa cum laude students, they must achieve a, a cumulative GPA of 5.5, 100 community service hours, attending a board meeting, and a 30 hour, 30 hour internship. To achieve magna cum laude, status, you have to have a 4.5 to a 5.49 cumulative GPA, 100 community service hours, attend a board meeting, and have a 30-hour internship. For cum laude, you have to have a 3.9 to a 4.49 cumulative GPA, 100 community service hours, attend a board, me board meeting, and have a 30-hour internship. The following students are graduating today with honors. Please note the students are wearing stole distinctive to their rank. Students, please stand when your name is called and remain standing until all students are called for your rank. Cum laude, Emma Umfleet. Our next rank is magna cum laude. You may be seated, Emma. <laughs> Trevor Ballou. Taylor Branch, Caden Cole, Grace Cowley, good Grace, okay, Emma Cummings, Jonah Haggerty, Clarissa Heverly, Susan Helton, Ryan Johnson, Cadence King, Anna McKinney, Abby Miller, Riley Schrag, Anna Sykes, Madison Sintz, and Randall Windsor. You may all be seated. And our final honor is summa cum laude, TJ Benoist, Nora Burkbigler, Carlyanna Bloom, Reagan Klein, Ashley Cohen, Ashlyn Courtney, Angelia Davis, Annabelle Devoto, Sean Evsby, Trent Galzinski, Tessa Hand, Taylor Matiason, Aiden Moriarty, 
Riley Nessler, Ty Northern, Yip Fan, Caroline Reeves, Alyssa Stacy, Abigail Thurman, Elizabeth Bahala, and Abby Wigger. You may be seated, and congratulations to all of you for not only your commitment to academics, but your commitment to your community service and giving back to the Farmington community. Ladies and gentlemen, it is the moment you have all been waiting for. Ushers, please move forward and release the 2023 graduates to receive their diplomas. Brian Anthony Johnson, A plus graduate. Wyatt Joseph Bach. Emma Grace Swoboda, A plus graduate. Jonah Michael Haggerty, A plus graduate. James W. Heike, A plus graduate. Joshua Watt Ryan Wyatt, A plus graduate. Drake Cardina. Taylor J. Matisson. Rachel Marie Luttrell. Annabelle Marie Devoto. Madeline Margaret Gidden. Tessa Grace Hand. Caleb Braden Young. Riley Nestor. Nicole Taylor Roberts. Olivia Catherine Sherrill. Savannah Lynn Ketcherside, A plus graduate. Susan May Helton. Olivia Lee Rastifer. Abby Elizabeth Miller. Aiden Claire Moriarty. Morgan Radis Gong. Yep Juan Fan. Angelia K. Davis. Braxton Lane Krauss, A plus graduate. Elizabeth Ann Verhalla, A plus graduate. Taylor Lee Branch, A plus graduate. Abigail Thurman. TJ Benoist, A plus graduate. Aubrey Jones, A plus graduate. Anna Elizabeth Sykes, A plus graduate. Michaela Nicole Cook. Carliana Sophia Bloom. Cameron Abigail Kemper. Abby Ann Wigger. Mackenzie Lynn White. Reagan Olivia Klein. Chloe Isabella Wood.
Caroline Ann Reeves, A plus graduate. Michaela Rose Wood. Brady Coleman Cox, A plus graduate. Ashlyn Marie Courtney. Riel Nicole LaCava, A plus graduate. Trent Dylan Golzinski. Grace Marie Duncan, A plus graduate. Colin Vincent Roth, A plus graduate. Jade Marie Roth, A plus graduate. Samuel James Knight. Peyton Elizabeth Barbera, A plus graduate. Bryce Wayne Hull. Elisha Matthew Parker, A plus graduate. Carson Alec Hurt. Ryan Connor Cooper, A plus graduate. Courtney Ann Williams. Christopher August Barth. Aaliyah Rose Fleming Kennan. Landon Scott Johnson, A plus graduate. Gage Nathaniel Henson, A plus graduate. Owen Douglas Berkner. Caden Dale Counts, A plus graduate. Justin Tyler Harris. Jacob Oliver Bridgman. Carter M. Arnett, A plus graduate. Sean Gregorovich is a VC. Robin Stephan. Randall Weinzer, A plus graduate. Bryce Stephen Wheatley, A plus graduate. Justin Ray Pilat. Austin Matthew Turner. Jared Samuel Barnes, A plus graduate. Bryce Eugene Buchanan. Jack Aiden Tooney, A plus graduate. Sydney Ann Zaracor, A plus graduate. McKenna Wilburn. Alyssa K. Stacy, A plus graduate. Kira Raven Jones. Jelena Rain Gray, A plus graduate. Wyatt Keith Skaggs, A plus graduate. Emma Ray Collins, A plus graduate. Cade Brian Blackman, A plus graduate. Trevor James Gowan, A plus graduate. Austin J. Spitzmiller, A plus graduate. Wyatt Lane Moon. Justin Brennan Parsons. Seth Walter Ahrens. Sawyer Andrew Mo Mohan, A plus graduate. Malachi Charles Smith. Justice Isaiah Boyer, A plus graduate. Jack McKinley Sandweg. Leah Ray Copaway, A plus graduate. Gavin Casey, A plus graduate. Gracie Ann Bone, A plus graduate. Olivia Rose Killian. Thatcher Dwayne Bowling, A plus graduate. Isaac Elijah Reesing. Jeremiah Everett Metcalf. Tyler Ray Clanton. Walker W. Jacobs. Paige Anne Marie Sierra. Becerra. Sierra. Sierra Dawn Miller, A plus graduate. Lucas Jacob Vogt. Haley Lane DeClue. 
Caden Allen McNeil. Clayton Allen Zimmerman. Nathan William Schnur. Lane Remington Lindsay, A plus graduate. Dominic Chase Crisp. Jacob James Heberly. Jaden V. Wilson. Alexi Marie Miller, A plus graduate. Peyton Michael Enman. Gabriella Christine Henson. Lillian Paige Cooper. Braden Arms. Sway Ivory Willow Cooper. Grant Tucker, A plus graduate. Sophia Chloe Rokan. Chloe Ryden. Carmen Renee Mueller. Vanessa Rose Ramsey. Logan James Tucker. Lacey Marie Strong. Paul William Clark. Dawson Christopher Mueller. Parker Scott Dickinson. Brenna Marie Owens, A plus graduate. Jackson D. Bauer. Skylar Kaylee Link, A plus graduate. Stephen Michael Gent. Jalen Lee Westbrook, A plus graduate. Brandon Michael Shopper, A plus graduate. Credence Carolyn Roberts, A plus graduate. Garrett Joe Ward. Connor Michael Tennon. Carson Chalk Short, A plus graduate. Caden Andrew Cole, A plus graduate. Emma Nicole Umfleet, A plus graduate. Carly Cole Wilson. Audrey Marie Crawford, A plus graduate. Matthew David Henderson. Nathaniel James Ballou. Jacob, Jacob Weineke. Jacob Weineke. Trevor Michael Ballou, A plus graduate. Adam Russell Baldwin. Mark Allen Southern. Zachary Cole Lowry. Caden James Foster, A plus graduate. Luke Jonah Houston. Shaman Orion Ryman, A plus graduate. Levi Colin Brown. Haven Alyssa Weston. Sebastian Wilson. Tucker David Pyatt. Brenner Wade Gallagher, A plus graduate. Cadence Avery King. Charles Stewart Hauser, A plus graduate. Nora Catherine Bergbigler. Chloe Lee. Michael Joseph Capias. Caitlin Jade Howe. Heath Allen Ritchie. Chloe Grace Allen. Lily Marie Pryor. Dylan Wayne Pratt. Ian Bailey. Aaliyah Renee Barton. 
Eric Dickerson. Ariana Nevea Ashton. John Wilcutt. Brianna Rose Folan. Alexander Hank Barton. Haley Denise Branham. Nathaniel Hugh Parsons Gilbert. Thomas Anthony James Pryor. Isaiah James Townsend. Gage Nolan Harold. Eli Pollock. Aliana Rochelle Powell. Kaysen Tacker. Kinsey Marie Knox. Christopher Perry Wink, A plus graduate. Siklali Rodriguez Santos. Richard Philip Skinner, A plus graduate. Ian Jeffrey Perry. Devin Lee Coleman. Jay Hale. Riley Lynn Johnson. Austin Jeffrey Eugene Cole. Adelaide Catherine Siddle, A plus graduate. Sierra Ann Mott. Ashley Donalta Cohen. Emma Rose Smith. Allison Lee Gibbs. Hannah Nicole Sertel, A plus graduate. Isabella Rain Pounds. Evan Joshua Bennett. Caden Michael Mungle. Hunter Thomas Nicholson. Emma Grace Burgess. Nathaniel Bradley King. Sydney Shane Wynn, A plus graduate. Aiden Lawrence Eck. Chloe May Scoggins, A plus graduate. Andrew Braden Mason. Gabrielle May Barrett. Joel Rojas Aribe. Lexi Grace Morgan. Zoe Leah Michelle Hardaby. Shelby Lee Bullock. Sydney Jane Fitzwater, A plus graduate. Reese Corin Eve Tiffenauer. Olivia Paige Brockus. Skylar Marie Sweeney. Anna Claire McKinney, A plus graduate. Cameron Estes Roberson. Weston Corey Williamson. Owen Keith Jones. Carissa Ann Casmatis. Beckett Thomas Harness. Bob Sue. Maxwell Boyles. Ty Alexander Northern. Amber Don Turner. Dimitri Scott Decker. Marissa Marie Hall. Brian Christopher Paget.
Brooklyn Paige Feeney. Kaylee Marie Fritz. Brooklyn Ann Smith. Chloe hey. Ann Link, A plus graduate. Haley Renee Fritz, A plus graduate. Casey Sarah Penno. Brianna Lynn Messmer, A plus graduate. Emma Gail Mattingly. Emily Marie Jarvis. Olivia Renee Lugo. Chloe Elizabeth Wong. Ruby Ann Humphrey, A plus graduate. Ryan Allen White. Madison Ann Sense, A plus graduate. Brooklyn Riley Schrag, A plus graduate. Andrew Christian Lee. Elena Braden Riesinger, A plus graduate. Isaiah Houston Walt. Alyssa Nicole Wiseman. Nathan Carter McCarthy, A plus graduate. Clarissa Dawn Heberly. Brianna Rose McFall, A plus graduate. Emma Rose Cummings, A plus graduate. Carson David McClanahan. Luke Thomas Fambro, A plus graduate. Alexandra Elizabeth Deason. Grace Elizabeth Cowley. Brandon A. McFall, A plus graduate. Paige Lauren Edwards. Brooke Lee Null. Austin Michael Coleman. Alexis Ann Easter. Hayden Joseph Zamora. Caitlin M. Bloodworth. Aiden Wayne Kennan, A plus graduate. Stephanie K. Breckner. Jonathan Ryan Dale Bilderback. Alan Daniel Smith. Austin William Lee, A plus graduate. Lane Ezra Miller. Taylor Michael Benson. Austin Jacob Childs. If everyone would please stand, and Miss Claire Nays is going to lead us in the school song. The lyrics can be found in your program.
right, everyone may be seated. Graduates, you may be seated. So Mr. Upchurch kind of stole my thunder earlier because this is the part of the ceremony where I would ask our graduates to thank their family members. So I would like to thank them personally on behalf of the, being the principal of Farmington High School to thank every family member for sharing their student with me for four years. It has been our pleasure and our honor to watch them grow into the young people they are today. But you, as their family members, are really what got them here, and I'm greatly appreciative of that. So graduates, find your family in the crowd. Let's give them a standing ovation instead of an applause. guys you can be seated one more time I, I don't get to boss you around very much longer just give me these last 30 seconds so this class of 2023 has 301 graduates yeah, I know <laughs> <That's> a lot <laughs> they have had four conference championships one district championship they've won 61 percent of their varsity contests they have 52 academic all-state athletes and 82 scholar athletes. 15 seniors have signed with colleges or universities to continue their athletic career. Um, 10 all-state athletes. Boys Cross Country team placed fourth at state. We had three state aces finishes, 14 CNA students, eight entering the military, 52% of the graduates earning college credit, 4,472 college credit hours earned, 31 AA degrees from Mineral Area College, one from Missouri Baptist, five Bright Flight Scholars, one National Merit Finalist, one Presidential Scholar, 89 A-plus scholarships, a total of $2 million in scholarships, and this class broke the record with 7,112 community service hours completed by the senior class. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you may move your tassels. Class of 2023, you are officially graduates.